Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using layouts in Gatsby. Layouts are basically special types of files that will act as a template for all the pages on our website. So imagine there was a scenario where we were creating a website and for every single page on the website, we wanted to have like the same layout, right? So on every page, we wanted to have the same header and we wanted to have the same footer. Maybe we wanted to have like the same navigational list. And we wanted it to be the same for all the pages on our website. Now, one way we could do that would just be to copy and paste that header footer code onto every single page on our website, right? So if we had 100 pages, we would copy and paste it 100 times onto all of those pages. But a better way to do that would be to just define some overall layout for our site and then have all the pages on our site inherit from that layout. So all the pages on our site would use that layout as their template or as their skeleton of HTML code. And then they could just, whatever content is inside that given page would just be inserted inside that layout. So I'm gonna show you how to build layouts inside of Gatsby. The way that we do that is by first coming over to this source folder. And I wanna create a new folder inside of here and I'm just gonna call it layouts. And then inside of this layouts folder, we can create a new file and we'll just call this index.js. And index.js is gonna be the default layout that all of the pages on our site are going to use. So in here, I'm just gonna paste in some code and I'll talk about what we have here. So I just have import react from react and then export default. And then you need this parentheses with curly brackets inside and children and then here we have the actual layout of our website. And so as long as you have something that looks like this, then you should be able to implement this layout. Now, there's this special tag right here. It's children. It's basically like a children function that it's calling and it's inside of these curly brackets. And what this will represent is the content of the page that we're currently on. So just to demonstrate this, I will type out some text. So we're gonna say layout and we'll say layout. And when I go over to my website, and actually before we do that, whenever you make a new layout, you need to restart your development server. So I'm gonna restart my Gatsby server, just like that. And once that's done restarting, when I refresh this page, you'll notice that now instead of just having hello world and this is a paragraph, we have these layouts up here. And so layout is surrounding the content of my page. And I actually have a, a couple other pages here. I also have um, page two and I have a page three. So if I go over to forward slash page two, it's the same thing. So on this page two, it's using the same layout that our homepage used. And if I go to page three, it's the same thing. So page three is also using this layout. So by default, all the pages on our website are gonna be using this layout. And these layouts are awesome because over here, for example, I could define like a header for my page and this will just be a really simple header. And then I could also define like a footer down here. And that header and that footer are gonna show up on every single page inside of our website. So this makes it really easy to define a layout for all the pages on your site. So you could have your header up here and your footer down there. And whenever you want to change the way that the header or the footer looks, you only have to change it right here on this layouts page or on this index file inside the layouts folder. You don't have to change it on any of the other pages. And that just makes your site more modular and more scalable. So play around with these layouts and you know you can basically just structure your whole site inside of this layout and then all of your content will just get injected into the layout from this children function. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.